Today we pick up in Acts 21, second part of verse 20 through 22. As James, who is the leader of the church in Jerusalem, and the elders glorified the Lord in hearing of the success of Paul's ministry, there was a matter in which arose some question, and that is that some Jews who are believers have sent word that Paul has been teaching the Jews that are in the Gentile communities that they should no longer follow the teachings of Moses, which was received from God. Verse 22, we're informed that the assembly must meet to hear the defense and discuss this matter. And this is an example of what we might call today a division within the church. A rumor or gossip that has started within the church community and question has arisen. This is an example of the subtle ways of Satan to infiltrate the church in his quest to overthrow the one and only God of heaven. As many of you know, Satan will not give up on trying to pull us away from our relationship with God as he will wreak havoc on the church and us in any and every way he sees possible. Whenever we, we bring glory to God, Satan will strike back. But we have the assurance that Jesus has already defeated Satan once for all, as we learn from Romans 6.10. And in that we know that Satan cannot hurt us as long as we keep our focus on Jesus. We know that Jesus has defeated him for us. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life to getting through this, to getting to heaven, to overcoming the trials and tribulations that Satan will throw at us. And we also want to keep in in the front of our, our times in, in our trials and tribulations that I once heard someone say that if Satan is not trying to knock you down, then he doesn't have a reason to. So take it as an encouragement that God is building our faith in him by allowing Satan to tempt us and try us. God doesn't tempt us, but he allows Satan to that refines our faith in God and putting our faith in him and through Jesus and what he's done on the cross to help us overcome these times. That builds our faith and makes our, our faith, our relationship in God and Jesus stronger. And that's what each day should be, a quest to grow closer to God. Dear Lord, as we turn from the sinful nature of this world and seek your will for our lives, we will face many challenges in which you will reward us through the great many blessings you give for following what you put in our hearts. But please help us to be aware that Satan will always strike back to try to make us fall away from you. The Apostle Paul gives us the assurance in 1 Corinthians 10, 12, and 13 that we should be aware that we cannot stand on our own, but that you will not allow us to be tempted beyond what we are able, and that you have provided the way of escape for us, and that way is through salvation in Jesus, whom you sent to save the world from sin. Please open our eyes, hearts, minds, and souls to this truth and love that you have given for each and every person who will accept your call on our lives to salvation in Christ Jesus. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.